Many of you may already be aware that about four months ago, YouTube implemented one of the worst changes of all time, where they basically tried to turn YouTube into the most G-rated, kid-friendly app ever, even though YouTube Kids has already been a thing for quite a long time. Basically making it so they treated every single swear word, even ones you would never consider a swear word, to be as punishable as just dropping the F word or the C word or stuff like that. If you said the word hell, that was counted as the same as those other words. It was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. And, like, so many creators got so much demonetization as a result of this. Even videos they had made before this change all just rectoactively got demonetized. And it wasn't just that. <laughs> if you dared to play a violent video game... That would also get demonetized. Yeah, great job, YouTube, implementing that change right when God of War Ragnarok, Callisto Protocol, and Dead Space Remake are all incredibly hot topics. Like, what a horrible, horrible thing to do. I myself had pretty much almost all of my Let's Plays completely demonetized, including my God of War Ragnarok ones, which were the most popular, so that sucked. Not only were they demonetizing, but they were age-restricting a lot of them on an app that already isn't for kids! It was ridiculous! I mean, I talked about it in one of my rant videos before, but amazingly, just recently, um, just like a, a couple days ago, Myself and several other YouTubers actually got a notification from YouTube saying, hey, we're going to undo all of that. Like, we're just, we're, we're undoing all of that, like, swearing, like, and violent video game, like, uh, stuff. At least I think they're undoing the violent video game stuff. They didn't specifically say it, but I did look in their new um, guidelines, and a lot of the anti-video game stuff that was there before is not there anymore. One of the main things they say is, you can't, like, play a violent video game that's depicting a horrible thing that happened to a real person. Which, yeah, that's fair. I totally get that. <laughs> like, but yeah, um, so it seems like they undid it all. And not only did they undo it all, but they actually addressed another problem, which was how incredibly vague they were about it. No one had any idea, like, what the exact rules were, and now they've spelled them out much better in the notification we all got. And I heard that they also put out a video. I haven't seen that yet, but, um, uh, I, like, I, like, somebody showed me, like, a bit of it, and it, it looks like they're spelling it out really well there, too. So, great that's wonderful like it's really good and not only have they rolled back these changes but i thought oh god am i gonna have to go appeal the videos again i already did the appeal i went and looked at my let's plays they all just automatically got remonetized so that's also wonderful that's really great i'm really glad that happened and people are celebrating people are thrilled people are patting youtube on the back for it but here's the thing guys let's not forget this never should have happened in the first place. This was never okay. Like, it's, it's, like, forgive me if I'm not patting YouTube on the back for rolling back what was a horrible anti-creator, anti-consumer change in the first place that literally no one asked for. And we all had to yell at them and tell them this is stupid for four months before they changed it back. I don't know if this is a result of the new CEO. If so, good for him. But, uh, Regardless, this is a horrible, horrible thing that's been going on for four months straight before they finally undid it. And do you think they're gonna... Come on, are they going to compensate creators for all the money they didn't let us make for four months? Of course not! Like... Imagine a thief is stealing from you for four months. They steal from you, and then on the fourth month they come and they say, You know what? I'm not gonna steal from you anymore. Great, you still stole from me for four months. <laughs> like, are you going to say, oh, what a wonderful man you are for stopping? No, that's not, that's not acceptable behavior. This never should have happened in the first place. And by the way, I looked through the entire message I received from YouTube. They didn't apologize. They didn't, like, they, they never once said, we're so sorry we did this to you. No, there was nothing like that. They didn't even apologize. That's... That's kind of a basic thing 
you should do, YouTube. And a part of me thinks the only reason they even ended up deciding to roll this back is because YouTube's not making money either off demonetized videos. A lot of you guys kept commenting when I talked about it saying, oh, well, YouTube still makes money on demonetized videos. No, they don't. Ads don't roll on them. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're thinking of copyright claimed videos. Those still get ads so that the person who copyright claimed your video can still profit off it, which is a horrible system. But when a video just straight up gets demonetized, ads don't run on it so youtube wasn't making money and the creators weren't making money it was it was an idiotic moronic thing to do like there was no winner in that situation <sighs> but yeah like this is a step forward which is great but after so many steps in the wrong direction i mean do you remember like a few oh uh, uh, like <sighs> A while ago, sorry, I can't talk, when uh, YouTube implemented that change where anyone who shows the opening scene to God of War 1 will get their video completely demonetized and age-restricted. Yeah, that's still a thing. That hasn't been undone. My first God of War inaccuracy video is still demonetized and age-restricted because of that. And my re-upload is up. Like, some of you, like, have commented on the re-upload. Oh, did you get it back up? No, that's a re-upload. And yeah, that still affects several other creators, including people like Tactical Bacon Productions. That's, that's not okay, YouTube. You need to undo that, too. Look, if YouTube continues what they're doing, like, with this, continues rolling back their awful changes, then, then I'll start praising them. Then I'll start patting them on the back. This is one thing, though. They need to roll back that stupid God of War decision. And even more importantly than that, they need to bring back dislikes, because that was one of the dumbest decisions any social media company has ever made. Literally everyone on the planet Earth and their grandma has been screaming at them to bring back the dislikes, and they still haven't. That was a horrible thing to do, and they need to undo that. So if, you know, if you start making more steps in this direction, YouTube, then I'll pat you on the back. If you apologize for all the crap you've been pulling, then I'll pat you on the back. If you actually tell us that you're no longer going to ignore our appeals and reject them within one minute on a 25-minute video, maybe then I'll start giving you some credit. If you also, also, YouTube's copyright system is still incredibly easily abusable and anti-creator. YouTube in no way protects their creators, yet constantly acts like they care about them. That's still in place, so, you know, there are so many things wrong with YouTube that need to be fixed. This is one thing, and I'm glad it's fixed, but it just... I find it a little weird to see so many people, like, praising YouTube for this. I mean, I guess it is good to give positive reinforcement when they do a positive thing, but, guys, it's one thing, and YouTube has a lot of problems, several of which were implemented not that long ago, that they need to fix. Like, so yeah, that's that's just my view on the whole thing. I am glad YouTube made this change. You know, I am glad that we're not trying to be just, like, Nick Jr. anymore, but... There are a lot of other problems with YouTube, and if they don't start rolling back more things, or at least giving a confession of wrongdoing and an apology to their creators, I don't see a reason to have faith that YouTube's going to be better from now on. Like, they've done, they've burned so many bridges with creators, and it's going to take a lot of work to rebuild any of that. So it's, it just, it's rough, because I really love being a YouTuber, but I'm I'm, I also have to live in this constant anxiety of what kind of horrible change YouTube is going to do next. So that's something that makes it really hard to be a YouTuber, and I think that's something YouTube really needs to fix. But yeah, I think that's really all I have to say about that. I don't know how to end videos.